The 1920 Summer Olympics, officially known as the Games of the Seventh Olympiad, were an international multi-sport event in 1920 in Antwerp, Belgium. In March 1912, during the 13th session of the IOC, the bid on the behalf of Belgium to host the 1920 Summer Olympics was made by Baron Edouard de Lavillai president of the Belgian Olympic Committee and of the Royal Belgian Football Association. No fixed host city was proposed at the time the 1916 Summer Olympics, to be held in Berlin, capital of the German Empire, were cancelled due to the war. The aftermath of the war and the Paris Peace Conference, 1919 affected the Olympic Games not only due to new states being created, but also by sanctions against the nations that lost the war and were blamed for starting it. Hungary, Germany, Austria, Bulgaria, and the Ottoman Empire were banned from competing in the Games. Germany remained banned until 1925, and instead hosted a series of games called Deutsche Kampfspieler, starting with the winter edition of 1922. The sailing events were held in Ostend, Belgium and in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Host City Selection In March 1912, during the 13th session of the IOC, the bid on the behalf of Belgium to host the 1920 Summer Olympics was made by Baron Edouard de Lavillai, president of the Belgian Olympic Committee and of the Royal Belgian Football Association. No fixed host city was proposed at the time. The organizing committee was created on 9 August 1913. It had four presidents. Edouard de Lavillai, president of the Belgian Olympic Committee, Henri de Baylet Latour, member of the IOC, Robert Osteriath, president of the Royal Yacht Club of Belgium, Charles Snoops, vice president of the Belgian Fencing Association. Among the 22 vice presidents of the committee were people with a military or industrial background and further people from sports organizations like Paul Haveneth, president of the Football and Athletics Club K. Beerschot VAC, and Nicolas Janka Peres, president of the Belgian Gymnastics Federation. The first action of the committee was to send an official letter to the IOC in Paris, confirming Antwerp as the city for the Belgian Olympic bid. On 13 September 1913, Pierre de Coubertin, president of the IOC, visited the grounds of the future Olympic Stadion in Beerschot. In 1914, a 109-page brochure was created to promote the idea of Antwerp as a host city for the Olympics. Orens now Slavia Emma Olympiade Anvers. It was sent to all IOC members and was used during the 6th Olympic Congress in Paris in 1914, where the candidacies of Amsterdam, Antwerp, Budapest, and Rome were discussed. Despite her slight preference at the time for Budapest, no final choice was made, and the outbreak of World War I soon afterwards prevented any further progress. In 1915, Lyon made a bid for the 1920 Games, but after some discussion, they agreed to support Antwerp and postpone their bid until 1924 if Antwerp was liberated in time to organise the Games. The support for Belgium and France, then the leading country of the IOC, also meant that Amsterdam, in the neutral Netherlands, and Budapest, in an enemy state, made no chance for the 1920 Games against Antwerp. New candidacies from American cities did not have that disadvantage though, and bids were received from Cleveland, Philadelphia, and Atlanta, and Cuba also planned a bid for Havana. But shortly after the armistice in November 1918, the IOC decided to give Antwerp the first choice if they still wanted to host the 1920 Games. In March 1919, the Belgian Olympic Committee decided to go ahead with the organization, and on 5 April 1919, in a meeting in Lausanne, Antwerp was officially declared the host city for the Games of the Seventh Olympiad organization. An executive committee was established on 17 April 1919, with Henri de Bale at Latour as chairman and Alfred Verdijk. The Secretary of the Belgian Union of Football Clubs, as General Secretary, 
Seven commissions were created, to deal with finances, accommodation, press relations, propaganda, schedules, transport, and festivities. Finances and scheduling proved to be the two hardest parts to tackle. The program of events only was published in February 1920, six months to the official start of the Games. Between 23 and 30 April 1920, an ice hockey tournament marked the early start of the Games. Held in the Palais de Glace, or Ice Palace in Antwerp, it was the first time that ice hockey was an Olympic sport. The first stone of the new Olympic Stadium at Beerschot was laid on 4 July 1919 by Jan de Vos, mayor of Antwerp, and inaugurated less than a year later on 23 May 1920 with a gymnastics demonstration. The nautical stadium or Stade Nautique d'Antwerp was built at the end of the Jan van Rijswijkerklan, using the city ramparts there as a spectator's stand. Other events, like shooting, boxing, and equestrian sports, were held at pre-existing locations in and around Antwerp and as far away as Ostend. Highlights These Olympics were the first in which the Olympic Oath was voiced, the first in which doves were released to symbolize peace, and the first in which the Olympic flag was flown. The USA won 41 gold, 27 silver, and 27 bronze medals, the most won by any of the 29 nations attending. Sweden, Great Britain, Finland, and Belgium rounded out the five most successful medal-winning nations. The Games also featured a week of winter sports, with figure skating appearing for the first time since the 1908 Olympics and ice hockey making its Olympic debut. Ned Onadi won five gold medals in the fencing events. At the age of 72, Sweden's 100-meter running deer double-shot event champion Oscar Swan won in the team event to become the oldest Olympic champion ever. 23-year-old Pavo Nermi won the 10,000 meters and 8,000 meters cross-country races, took another gold in team cross-country, and a silver in the 5,000 meters run. His contributions for Finland broke the U.S. Dominance record in track and field with nine medals. Duka Hanamoku retained the 100 meters swimming title he won before the war. In a unique moment in Olympic history, the 12-foot dinghy event in sailing was held in two different countries. The final two races in the event were held in the Netherlands, as the only two competitors in the event were Dutch. Sports shooter Guilherme Parance won Brazil's first ever gold medal at the Olympic Games. Medals awarded 156 events in 29 disciplines, comprising 22 sports, were part of the Olympic program in 1920. The sailing program was open for a total of 16 sailing classes, but actually only 14 sailing events were contested. The number of events in each discipline is noted in parentheses. Demonstration Sport Corf Ball Venues Antwerp, cycling, Antwerp Zoo, boxing, wrestling, beer show, tennis club, tennis, Beverly Camp, shooting, Brussels Scheldt Maritime Canal, rowing, Buten Y, sailing, Garden of the Egmont Palace, fencing, Hugbu Military Camp, shooting, Duels Ottenstadion, football, Nachtigallen Park, archery. Olympisch Stadion, Athletics, Equestrian, Field Hockey, Football, Gymnastics, Korfball, Modern Pentathlon, Rugby Union, Tug of War, and Weightlifting, Ostend, Polo, Sailing, Palais de Glace Danvers, Figure Skating, Ice Hockey, Stade Joseph Marion, Football, Stade Nautique d'Antwerp, Diving, Swimming, Water Polo, Stadion Broodstraat, Football, Velodrome Danvis, Zurenborg, Cycling, Participating Nations, a total of 29 nations participated in the Antwerp Games, only one more than in 1912, as Germany, Austria, Hungary, Bulgaria, and Turkey were not invited, having lost World War I. From the newly created European states, only Estonia took part, and Czechoslovakia, succeeding Bohemia which had sent athletes prior to World War I as part of the Austrian Empire. 
Poland was busy with the Polish-Soviet war and therefore was unable to form an Olympic team. Soviet Russia was also not invited as part of its political embargo by the West. Argentina, the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes, Brazil, and Monaco competed as nations at the Olympic Games for the first time. New Zealand, which had competed as part of a combined team with Australia in 1908 and 1912, competed on its own for the first time. The official name of Yugoslavia was the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes before 1929. The Dominion of Newfoundland had one competitor, Eric Robertson, but as the Dominion had no official Olympic committee, his nationality could not be confirmed and he had to represent the United Kingdom. As the local Olympic organizing committee went bankrupt during the Antwerp 1920 Games, no official report of the Games was ever produced. The documents of the Games were archived at the Belgium Olympic Committee headquarters in Brussels. Medal count. These are the top 10 nations that won medals at the 1920 Games.